guys welcome back to my channel this is Pashpika the channel where we talk a lot about nature love or eco-friendly zero waste sustainable lifestyle in today's video we will going to talk about top 10 amazing hacks for an eco-friendly lifestyle or sustainable lifestyle whatever you call it now i have already made a bunch of the videos talking about what exactly the sustainable lifestyle is top 10 sustainable lifestyle hacks and also the top 10 zero waste hacks i'm gonna leave those videos in the cast section above but today i'm gonna be sharing some different tips and different hacks that i haven't shared in those videos to live a more zero waste more eco-friendly more sustainable lifestyle so without further ado let's get straight with that before go pa consider clicking the like button guys i do appreciate that if you want more such videos in the future consider subscribing whenever i'm gonna upload new videos you're gonna get notified about it also, if you're getting started looking forward to zero waste lifestyle, eco-friendly lifestyle or sustainable lifestyle, then I have an entire PDF planner bundle for sustainable lifestyle for eco-friendly lifestyle. Make sure you grab it out. The link is in the description box below. It will going to help you in getting started with that. What other things are important? How to become more sustainable? Everything is there in this PDF. It's a kind of like a PDF download, which you can download. You can fill it out on your screen or your mobile let's talk about today's video what are these top 10 hacks or top 10 tips the first tip that is quite obvious that is quite seem too obvious but i think that many people do ignore that always switch off your lights your fans whatever is switch on when you are going out of your home now this seems kind of like quite simple yet very very basic hack like i've seen so many people are not really aware of that they have the switching of uh, light fans they are on when they are leaving the home and this is the worst way because you are paying more money for that electricity second tip that i have for you is plant your own food or fruits or veggies now this may sound like oh do i have to plant the entire garden a kitchen garden for the fruits for the veggies no have a simple ones okay if depending on where you are living what's the weather what's the climate of your environment is the obviously the things will going to vary the vegetables that are growing in a warmer may not be growing in the snow area so it varies but of course you can grow some of your veggies and fruits in your kitchen garden it will be more pure it will be more pure also you're saving more money plus a kitchen garden is a great hobby for a zero waste style eco-friendly and uh, more sustainable lifestyle the third tip that i have for you avoid using the powered air dryer for actually drying your clothes like I recommend you to just use the normal washing machine just tie your clothes and put your clothes on a rag and don't use a powered air dryer for drying your you are reducing the energy usage thereby you're saving money and thereby more sustainable the fourth hack or the fourth tip that i have for you is especially related to the girls or maybe it will be related to the boys as well like if you are taking a bath taking a shower your hairs are dry don't use a hair dryer or blow dryer to dry your hairs now this may seem counterintuitive but again you're saving a lot of energy and money and also your hair gets a lot of damage if you're using a hair dryer blow dryer like there are the, so many damages if you're using an external hair dryer for drying your hair i would recommend you take a shower earlier if you want to go to your office to your party take a shower earlier so that your hair actually takes a time to dry it by yourself without using any machine Fifth hack or fifth tip I have for you, try to use a double layered clothing instead of going with the heater. Now I know that depending on where you live, maybe you are having a very high thick snow layer. Maybe you would be having winters not that cold, it's just a casual. Depending on where you live, what your climatic condition look like, you can increase your clothing layers. Like you can have a double layers instead of going with the heater if you can. But if the heat or if the snow is unbearable if the winter is unbearable and you need to have a winter then probably go out for the, the heater but in the first case if you can feel better then try to have a double layered clothing like you can have a double socks or double t-shirt or something like that to make it more warmer for your body rather than going with the heater again you're saving heat electricity money so much more sixth hack is try to use recycled paper whether it's a toilet paper whether you're using a paper for your day-to-day -day routine whatever way you're using a paper try to use recycled paper instead of the fresh new paper you already know that fresh new paper cut from the wood the wood has been cut down the, it's going through processing 
and a lot of the energy money and all the things are going to go into creating a new paper and also you're cutting down a tree so it's not really sustainable not really eco-friendly so probably go with the recycle one instead of going with that the seventh hack i have for you is try to use stairs instead of the elevators now i'm not telling you to actually have a stairs try to take the stairs for telling you to take a ground floor from ground floor to the 20th by stairs it would be really really long and you would be feel burned out along the process but if it's just one or two stairs like one or two uh buildings only then probably i mean if you're going from ground floor to second floor then you can probably go with the stairs but if you're going from ground floor to 20th floor or above that then it would be really really <laughs> burnt out process if you're taking a stair so depending on where you live and how you live and if you are in a process of actually uh, reducing calories and you want to burn a workout then this could be a great workout and also you are saving money a time not time really but you're saving a money because you're not going with the elevator and the elevator takes an energy thereby you are expand using money for that energy directly or indirectly so going with the stairs could be a great option again you need to see how many stairs you need to take okay you don't need to take a 20 floor 11th floor 12 10th floor on stairs and after that you are like sweating like a hell and no just take a look at how and where you want to go and how many stairs are there and then decide whether you're going to take with the stairs or the elevator it hack is repair your old vehicles rather than purchasing the new ones or try to use the second hand ones now there are so many second hand stores out there now you would be thinking i want a new car and you're telling me to take a second hand car yes firstly you are not actually using a new one that means if you are using buying a new car then the new uh, energy is utilized for creating the new car the new resources everything is new for that particular one and if you're using a second hand firstly you will gonna save money secondly you're gonna save energy as well and it's more sustainable plus if you're already having an old vehicle by yourself try to repair it go it for maintenance so that it reduces carbon dioxide or carbon emissions and also not up consuming a lot of the gas so it works properly so please keep your vehicle on a maintenance good maintenance and plus i try to use the second hand rather than going with the new one the ninth hack no this one is the ninth the ninth hack that stop using bottled water now you would be thinking if i'm not using a water bottle like bottled water where i'm gonna drink the water then i will have one have a sneaky hack for you you can use a filter instead of the bottled water you can have water bottle filters like there are so many filters you can get the amazing water filter or uh, water bottle filter on the amazon you can buy the water bottle filter instead of using the bottled water and you can use that filter to filter the normal water again it depends where you live if you are living in a country where you can't drink the normal water that you're getting in your tap then probably don't go for the for that but if you can actually filter that water and you can drink that then probably go with that instead of the bottled water because bottle is a plastic okay so you are increasing the waste you are increasing the plastic waste thereby it's not at all eco friendly not at all sustainable not at all zero waste you are increasing the waste going more sustainable uh, using the less resources to for our survival as a human and we can do that we can reduce a lot so try to use a water bottle filter instead of the bottled water like i prefer to use a water bottle filter instead of the bottled water of course it depends where uh, if i'm traveling to different country then the things may differ but again you can go for that and do your research more about that the last hack or the last tip that's a top 10 is try to do shopping at the sustainable outlet or sustainable shopping center now you need to do your research to find the materials that are more sustainable if you are purchasing the clothes or the groceries or whatever you are purchasing in the market try to look out for sustainable outlet shops that are focusing more on a sustainable zero waste practices eco friendly practices rather than going with cutting down the trees and opting for plastic it it is quite obvious but you need to do a little bit more research because still people are not really aware of that and not it's not that much popular but again you're going to find a plenty of these shops or maybe in the online or offline that are more sustainable more zero waste or maybe they are donating one percentage of their income towards 
environment so you need to do your research to find those shopping outlets and be more aware be more mindful when you are purchasing anything ask yourself do you really want that particular thing can you reuse or renovate or diy some items if not then probably buy it okay Hopefully you find this video useful and these tips useful. Let me know your own sustainable, zero waste, eco-friendly tips and hacks in the comment section below. It will going to help me as well and also help the other people who are going to read your comments. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. I'll going to see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye guys.